We're going to hear from the guy who in many ways got this phase of this movement going, the greatest climatologist on earth, the scientist who first really warned us about global warming, Dr. James Hansen. Thank you. Tar sands are the turning point in our fossil fuel Tar sands are the turning point in our fossil fuel addiction. Either we begin on the road to breaking our addiction to a clean energy future, or we turn to even dirtier fossil fuels. Tar sands, tar shale, digging up pristine public lands to get the last drop. This is a critical juncture. There is a limit on how much carbon we can pour into the atmosphere without pushing the climate system to a point that it is out of control of young people and future generations. With consequences that we are already beginning to glimpse. We cannot leave the solution to politicians. They say we have a planet in peril. They propose action that is designed by big banks, big oil, big coal, and big utilities. But it does almost nothing to solve the climate crisis. The fundamental fact is that as long as fossil fuels are the cheapest energy, they will continue to be used. But they are not really cheapest. They are subsidized heavily and they do not pay their cost to society for their impact on public health, the environment, and the future of young people. So, the, the only solution is to begin to put a price on carbon emissions which should be collected from the fossil fuel companies and 100% distributed to the public in a monthly dividend. That would allow us to move to a clean energy future and it would stimulate the economy and it would put the public's interest above that of the big banks and the big fossil fuel industries. So the, my final uh, comment is when you go away from here the most important thing you can do, in my opinion, is support citizensclimatelobby.org because they are pressuring the government to do what is in the public's interest rather than big business interest. Thank you.